According to radio network RMC Sport in France, Real Madrid has an agreement with Chelsea for the transfer of Belgian goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois. The report states that Courtois would cost Los Blancos $41 million, and the transfer is imminent. That would be significantly cheaper than Liverpool's widely reported bid for Roma goalkeeper Allison, who is supposedly costing the Reds $81 million, which would be a record for a goalkeeper. This could likely be attributed to the players' contracts, with Courtois set to run out at the end of the coming season, while Allison's contract at Roma is good through the summer of 2021. Courtois has been at Chelsea since 2011 when he arrived from Belgian club Genk, but spent the first few years out on loan at Atletico Madrid in Spain. He won the Golden Glove at the 2018 World Cup in Russia, the award for the top goalkeeper in the tournament. Meanwhile, the same RMC Sport report states that Real Madrid is close to an agreement for Courtois' Chelsea teammate and Belgian countryman Eden Azar. The 27-year-old has spent six years at Stamford Bridge since his move from Lille, and has heavily been speculated to be Real Madrid's preferred replacement for Cristiano Ronaldo. Both players are currently on holiday at different vacation destinations in Spain following the conclusion of the 2018 World Cup. Follow at the underscore bonfire Arsenal fan favorite Santi Cazorla saw his time with the Gunners come to an unceremonious end this summer. He had struggled for almost three full seasons with an ankle injury that continued to baffle doctors. At one time, it got so bad that doctors told him he was lucky to walk again. Now, Cazorla is doing much more than walking. The 33-year-old Spaniard, who is training with his old club Villarreal this summer after the expiry of his Arsenal contract, returned to the field for the first time in 636 days when he entered in the 67th minute of Villarreal's friendly against Segunda B side Hercules. Beaming with a massive smile, Cazorla received a hearty reception from the home Villarreal fans at the Mini Estadi on his entrance to the match. The match eventually ended in a 1-1 draw. Cazorla posted on Twitter a week ago to say how happy he was to feel like a footballer again while training with Villarreal and said while there's much more work ahead, he has more enthusiasm than ever. The Spaniard made 180 appearances for Arsenal across all competitions during his six-year stint in the Premier League, providing fluid creativity at the front of the Gunners' attack, but the last three seasons were a nightmare. First a knee injury kept him out nearly the entire second half of the 2015-16 season, and then he ruptured his Achilles in October of 2016. It was not a standard recovery, eventually requiring a total of eight operations. Nasty infection required more surgery, forcing doctors to graft tendons from his left arm into his foot. Gunners fans may not see him at the Emirates again, but they will be happy to know Cazorla has crossed a major hurdle in his attempt to return to the field competitively. Follow at the underscore bonfire with the World Cup over, the transfer season is now in full swing. Players have returned from Russia, some having improved their stock mightily. While the World Cup participants will likely receive an extended vacation from clubs to spend time with families and rest their bodies a bit, transfer season never rests. According to Italian publication Tutosport, World Cup champion Paul Pogba may have some leverage this summer and could use that to his advantage. The world could see how effective he was in a box-to-box -box midfield role under French manager Didier Deschamps with slightly more freedom than he saw under Jose Mourinho at Manchester United this past season where many felt he has room to grow. The report says that Pogba might use the World Cup performances to leverage his way out of Manchester United and back to Juventus, where Cristiano Ronaldo has just signed for a mega transfer. The report states that Pogba is intrigued to join his old club and be a part of Ronaldo's tenure in Turin. With Ronaldo at 33 years old, he might not have long at Juventus, and Pogba wishes to take advantage. Tudo's port, which is based in Turin, says that Pogba retains at the least a professional relationship with all his former teammates, and would welcome a move back to Italy. 
His current Manchester United contract runs out in 2021, meaning he has three full seasons left on his current deal. Whether Pogba stays or goes, Manchester United will be looking to improve its squad, with a World Cup runner-up in its sights. There have been rumours of a move for both Croatian wingers Ivan Perisic and Antti Rebic, but the latter seems to make more sense. Rebic is just 24 years old, and would likely be the cheaper of the two coming from Bundesliga club Eintracht Frankfurt. At the World Cup, the Croatian displayed strength, technical ability, and an innate sense for finding space. Rebic can play on either wing, playing on the left with his club while deployed on the right with the national team during this summer's tournament. He would fit in nicely to Manchester United's squad, which is light on wide attacking players outside of Alexis Sanchez. Rebic would be a perfect foil for Sanchez, preferring to stick to the touchline while Sanchez cuts inside, and enjoying allowing the fullback to overlap. Reports around England tag Rebic with a $57 million fee, which is just slightly under what Perisic might command from Inter. In London, there are heavy rumours swirling that Real Madrid will move to make Eden Hazard their replacement for Cristiano Ronaldo. Hazard's national team manager spoke out on the potential move, following Belgium's third place finish at the 2018 World Cup. I believe now is maybe the right time for him to move. Martinez told Cadena SR Radio in Spain. With Belgium he displayed maturity and leadership to add to his outstanding talent, I believe he can play for any side. There is not one team in the world he would not fit in and that means he will be the subject of offers from elsewhere. I am sure Chelsea have received a lot of interest in Eden because he is one of the select group of players whose talent is based on individual play. Following the completion of Belgium's win over England in the third place match, Hazard was quoted as saying it might be time for something new. He has been with Chelsea since moving from Lille in the summer of 2012. At Stamford Bridge, Hazard has blossomed into one of the world's best one-on-one -on -one attackers. According to Sky Sports reporter Cavasol Hecol, Everton is in advanced talks with Bordeaux over Brazilian winger Malcolm. The report states that Everton is closing in on a $39 million deal for the 21-year-old in evidence team will meet with the French club's representatives on Thursday to hammer out the final version of the transfer. Everton in advanced talks to sign Bordeaux winger Malcolm. Bordeaux chairman due to meet Everton on Thursday, £30 million deal plus add-ons being discussed. Five-year deal worth £80,000 a week. Cava Sol Hecol, at Sky Cava, July 17, 2018 The potential signing would be a fabulous move, given that Malcolm had been linked with not just Inter Milan but other Premier League club Fulham. Reports say Inter had been looking for a loan with an option to buy, whereas Everton was ready to splash the cash now, which intrigued Bordeaux the most. Follow at the underscore Bonfire Brighton. According to some reports, the transfer could potentially become the club record signing, set back in January with the signing of striker Jurgen Locadia. The Mirror states that the deal, with add-ons, could reach as high as $22.3 million, with Locadia's record currently sitting at $18 million. However, the BBC is reporting that the Visuma deal will fall just short of Locadia's record. Bisuma, a 21-year-old, already has 13 caps for Mali on the senior international level, with three goals. He made 24 League One appearances for Lille last season, scoring two goals and assisting one other, and grabbed another goal in Coupe de France play. More, place Giants playing U.S. tours, I spoke to my agent, then I spoke to Bakary Seiko who plays at Crystal Palace and Molawig, who plays for Watford, Bisuma told the official club website. Both said a lot of good things about the Premier League, it's the dream of every player to come and play in the Premier League. They said it's different to League One but you see that on the TV. The players I spoke to, said it's quite physical, quite difficult but it's the best league in the world, that says it all. To be a big player you have to prove yourself in the big leagues, and that is what pushed me a bit to come here. Bissouma becomes Brighton's sixth signing of the season, with Fulham goalkeeper David Button coming in on Monday.
They also snagged RB Leipzig fullback Bernardo and striker Florina Donay from Deportivo La Coruña. Follow at the underscore bonfire new manager Steven Gerrard has a long season ahead of him at Rangers. The Scottish Giants finished a disappointing 0-0 draw against Macedonian club FK Shkupi on the road Tuesday in Europa League qualification, and following the result, Gerrard did not hold back. There is definitely a base there for how we want to look away from home, Gerrard said. It's a platform to build on. But I'm disappointed with us in possession for the first 30 minutes. I don't think we passed the ball well enough, and throughout the game there was a serious lack of quality in the final third. Gerard, in his first season as a manager, has yet to lose, beating FK Scooby in the first leg 2-0 in the season's first match. Rangers opens its Scottish Premier League season on August 5 against Aberdeen, while they begin the next Europa League qualifying round on July 26. I'm a bit mixed right now, Gerard said. We're pleased with one side of the game, but there is certainly a hell of a lot of work to do on the other side. Out of possession we were good, our shape was good. We were aggressive and I'm pleased with the clean sheet. Rangers will draw either Moldovan club Petro Cub or Croatian side Aussie Jack in the next Europa League round. To reach the group stage, there is still a third qualifying round to pass followed by the playoff round. Premier League side Burnley has also progressed to the second qualifying round and will play Scottish side Aberdeen in late July. Follow at the underscore bonfire.